So I recently gave MSNBC's Chris Matthews credit for giving us an honest assessment of Bernie's chances in Iowa. Look, I know that it pains pundits in mainstream media to admit that Bernie Sanders has a chance. Um, so I, I feel the need to give them credit when they actually are honest and don't just lie about his chances and tell us that he has no chance of winning. Um, however, I'm going to have to take that credit back, albeit temporarily, because uh, he decided to attack Bernie Sanders using an, an analogy, and it was just, it was embarrassingly pathetic. I can't describe it as anything but embarrassingly pathetic, but stick around because the story does have a happy ending, thankfully. Um, but here's what Chris Matthews said, and if you're going to use any analogy to argue against Bernie Sanders, this is the worst possible one you can come up with. My latest question is this one. It's sort of like the question pollsters ask. Um, who cares about people like you? And my question is a little more direct than that. Suppose you're lying on a road hurt. Which of the candidates would stop their car and get out and help you? I think Biden wins that one pretty easily. I think Elizabeth maybe. I don't think Bernie wins it. Do you? Honestly? They are the question you got to ask about. Will this person help me when I need him? Because the rest yeah. is being... So I love how Mika and Joe laughed at him. Um, but this analogy, first and foremost, it's it's not helpful because it doesn't tell you anything about the candidate, right? I mean, I would just assume that the person who would be the most likely to stop and help someone would be the one with the most compassionate platform, which is Bernie Sanders. But in actuality, I mean, you're just inserting what you think a candidate would do when there's no evidence that that would be the case, especially when it comes to Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren. I don't know what they would do. I don't know if Joe Biden or Elizabeth Warren would stop and help someone who knows? That doesn't say anything about, you know, uh, we can't we can't assume what they would do based on their current policies or political status. I don't know. But what I do know is that out of all the candidates, Bernie Sanders most likely would be the one, if anyone's going to stop and help someone, to help people. Why? Because we have evidence of him stopping to help people. So, for example, at a rally, somebody fainted and he dropped everything to make sure that that person was okay. I will tell you is there is one issue out there. Oh, God. I think she's, she walked away. I think she's okay. And that wasn't a one-off. This happened again, and he had the same human reaction. Some of you know they were in, in some... Oh, my God. Now, in both of those clips, he did not resume talking again. He was giving a speech, didn't say a word until he was able to see firsthand that those people were okay and they got up and walked away. This is someone who is genuinely compassionate. He cares about other human beings, hence why his platform really reflects that. Medicare for all, student loan debt cancellation. He doesn't just want to make sure that we're able to get by. He wants human beings to thrive. And if we have or needed any definitive proof that Bernie Sanders would be the candidate to stop and help someone over on the side of the road, well, he literally did save someone's life who was going to be hit by a car. Quote, Bernie Sanders, I kid you not, stopped me from getting hit by a car on my way to my guitar lesson, so we took a selfie together. Yes, this is a true story. It happened, and the local news in that area picked up the story. Wednesday evening, Amy ventured onto Massachusetts Avenue, heading to a music lesson on Capitol Hill. Went straight past under Sanders. She turned around to find Sanders very worried. Before I could even say anything, he was just like, ma'am, ma'am, you got to get off the street. Um, there's incoming traffic. And the only thing that could come out of my mouth was, oh my goodness, are you Senator Sanders? And he was just like, yes, but you have to get off the street. Amy quickly made it back to Sanders. She's not sure what would have happened if Sanders hadn't been there. She's just glad he was. So, I mean, look, I don't know if Joe Biden or Pete Buttigieg or Amy Klobuchar or Elizabeth Warren would stop and help someone if they were lying on the side of the road. I would assume no, but that's probably because of my own political biases. I don't necessarily know what they're like as a person, as a human being. So for Chris Matthews to uh, use this analogy to attack Bernie Sanders, I mean, it, 
there are numerous instances where Bernie Sanders shows that he is the most humane and compassionate candidate. So this came off as tone deaf. It came off as, you know, pathetic him reaching to attack Bernie Sanders. And I think he realized that, and credit where it's due, he actually apologized. I, I want to talk about this poll question about Bernie because I looked at the polls for 2016 against Hillary. Now, Hillary won on experience. She won on electability. She lost on two dramatically to Bernie. Does... Uh, is he honest? He killed her on honesty. Killed her on honesty and authenticity. Does, does this guy or this person care about people like me? Killed her. So empathy. Now, this morning, I was trying to fashion that into a tougher question, a good Samaritan question. If you're in trouble on the side of the road, you're lying down somewhere and you're in trouble, who's going to stop the car and see if you're okay? Now, I speculated Biden, a lot of people agree with that, but I unfortunately speculate the guy who'd be least likely to do it would be Bernie. <laughs> That's totally unfair of me, absolutely unfair. I don't know, I only have done a quick poll with three or four people and they all said Bernie. So, <laughs> uh, but it's not fair. We need a, I always say to people, ask around. But it's not fair for me to make a judge because Bernie does have a lot of empathy on health care and things like that. And I have no reason to believe he wouldn't stop that car and jam on the brakes. Your thoughts, who would be the most likely to stop? Did I you want to put you all in trouble. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm fixing it. I'm dealing hey, with like, my conscience here. You were praising here. your Irish background earlier, and all of a sudden this apology comes out. So I'll say this, apology accepted. Because I am 100% willing to forgive someone if they make an error and they admit that they're wrong. There's no reason to, you know, um, shit on him relentlessly because he made this mistake. I think he realizes that it was petty and unfair for him to try to use this analogy to attack Bernie Sanders. And I think he probably realized that this isn't a good look for him. Like this helps nobody determine who's the best candidate. This doesn't necessarily say anything about the candidates. It just shows that Chris Matthews himself has an anti-Bernie bias. So I, I give him credit for acknowledging that he was wrong. But let's just try to be objective. Like if you're in the mainstream media... Just maybe try a little bit harder to be objective so you don't have to apologize for doing these types of uh, segments where you attack Bernie Sanders for literally nothing. I mean, if anyone is going to, you know, stop and help me if I'm on the side of the road, out of all the candidates, I'd choose Bernie Sanders because he has a history of wanting to help people and he's a compassionate human being. That's why people trust him. That's why people love him. So um, don't do this. Not a good look. Nonetheless, Thank you for apologizing, Chris.